G'day everyone, welcome back. Hope you're having a great day or a nice night. I'm out here in the garden. I uh, thought I'd start this video by showing you how my loofah gourd is going and growing. It's actually taking over the garden gate now. I've just let it do its own thing. It's got quite a few fruit on it, which is really cool. So when the loofah flowers, and if it's pollinated, gets these little baby loofah gourds forming. And when they're small, you can actually use the smaller ones like this size before they get too big and spongy. Um, you can use them in cooking, a bit like zucchini. Sometimes I do use them like that. But what I tend to do is usually leave them grow and get heaps bigger. They even get bigger than this. Just to give you an idea, this is like a, a big courgette size at the moment, but they do actually get heaps bigger. And when they're mature, you can let them dry on the vine and then pick them. And once dry and when you take the outer skin off them and clean them up, you are left with a loofah sponge, a bit like this. This is one, uh, just an old one I've got from a previous year. And you can use the sponge, you've probably seen these ones sold as um, beauty products for using in the bathroom or you can even use them in the kitchen. I like to cut them up into sections and make them into like scourers for cleaning pots and pans, that type of thing, or for washing up with. So yes, that's my wonderful loofah gourd, uh, doing fantastically, and there's quite a few loofahs on it, so hopefully I'll get a nice little harvest of loofah sponges at the end of the season. So I have two food hauls to share for everyone today. Uh, firstly, what I got on Tuesday from our local food bank, uh, the one that I go to most weeks. This is one that's open to anybody where I live and you could go along and get some free bread or baked items depending on what's being donated. Sometimes there's limits. It just depends uh, what they've been given. So I'll flash back to Tuesday now and show you what I picked up on Tuesday. So here's what I managed to pick up this week to help feed everyone. There's firstly a Turkish loaf, a garlic one this week. I've only just realised it. I didn't see the garlic at the food bank, but that's great. I like garlicky things. I love the garlic flavour. Uh, the one I got last week I used as like a pizza. I cut it open and divided it in two and put like pizza toppings on it. And we had it for dinner one night. It was really delicious. So I'm thinking I might do the same with this one or... Maybe I'll turn it into more like a garlic bread this week, perhaps. We'll see, but great to get. I then got some bread rolls. These are mostly for my kids for their lunch boxes. So this one's a six pack of soft round rolls, which looks really good. And then I got two lots of the white high fiber, low GI bread rolls. These ones are delicious as well. They've got a really nice texture. So two lots of those. And this week I got a lovely sourdough loaf of bread, which looks delicious. And the lovely lady at the food bank has put me aside an extra soft spicy fruit loaf again this week, which is fantastic. So that'll be really handy. And you'll see here, she's given me another whole box of these Fibre One chocolate flavoured donuts, which is really good. The kids are loving having these in their lunch boxes. So that's a real big help. So there's six boxes and each box has got four little packets of the donuts in them. So that's great. And I was lucky to also pick up two more of these Continental Nutrish soups on the Pulse ones, like I got last week. These turned out to be delicious. There was a bit of spice in it, but not too spicy. Just really nice flavour. And little lentils and chickpeas when you put them in your mug and pour on the hot water. 
they were really good. I had a couple for my lunch during the week and even the kids tried a couple. Everyone seemed to like them, so that's nice to get two more. There was limits on the sweetbreads today. Uh, you could take one sweet item and I got a lovely cinnamon sugar bun loaf this week, which looks really nice. And then lastly, the best thing I think I got today, I'm looking forward to trying this one, is this wonderful pull apart. It's uh, cheese and spinach. I think there's actually lumps of feta cheese there too. <laughs> Savory bread, which looks really good to me right now. So that's everything I got this Tuesday. So that was everything I picked up on Tuesday, which is an amazing help. And then middle of the week, I also went along to this new church food pantry I discovered recently. I'll show you now what I got in the fruit and veggie bag this week. So here's what I got from this new food pantry I've been going to. This is the third time I've been. And it seems to be pretty good with the fruit and veggies that's on offer. You pay $5 and it's like $5 for a bag of fruit and veggies, but there's limits on the different items. So they have it set out on tables when you go through and it says different things like two potatoes or one onion, three apples, that type of thing. So you can pick and choose uh, the different items that you, you want when you go through within the limits, of course. So I'll show you what I picked up today. Uh, first of all, you could pick one zucchini. So I got one zucchini. Uh, there was a bag of green beans you could get. These look nice. You could get three little sweet potatoes. These are a good eating size, actually. So I grabbed three of those. Uh, it was two potatoes this week and one onion and one cob of corn. These ones look nice and fresh. And the apples look particularly good this week. You could get three Red Delicious. They're really nice apples. So very happy to get those. And you could also get two Granny Smith apples. So all these apples, they'll be really handy for the kids to go in their lunch boxes. Uh, this is a Macrot Lime, which is great in like Thai cooking and curries, that type of thing. It's got a lovely fragrance. So one of those... Uh, you could get a bunch of these lovely ladyfinger bananas. So there's five little bananas there. And there was also, you could get two Cavendish bananas. So two Cavendish bananas I picked up. Uh, there was one red capsicum. So got a nice red bell pepper <laughs> there. And a piece of pumpkin. So there's a, a nice piece of pumpkin. And they still had some of these apple and blackcurrant drinks. So I grabbed a drink each for my kids as a nice little treat when they get home from school. And as well as the fruit and veggies, I did also get, they have bread set out on the tables at the end. I picked up a lovely loaf of sourdough bread as well, which looks really good. And then some toilet paper as well, some more of this who gives a crap toilet paper. These ones are actually bamboo toilet paper too. So two rolls of toilet paper. So I think that works out pretty good a value still for the $5. So a good way to get some extra fruit and veggies into our diet at the moment. So a big help to, to get that. Personally, um, utilizing services like this in my local area has been a big help to my family. Uh, there is links I've left down below in my description box if you are trying to find a food bank or food pantry where you are. Where you can put in a postcode or a zip code and hopefully turn up something close by to you.